Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get in a solo public session in GTA 5 Online in 2023. And this is by far the easiest way I've ever seen in GTA to put yourself in a solo public lobby. So if you do go on to enjoy, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But without further ado, let me now show you how to put yourself in a solo public lobby. So first things first, what you need to do is put yourself in an invite only session. Once you are in an invite only session, just like I'm in right here, what you need to do next is open up your pause menu. Now go over to where it says online and then go down to where it says find new session. And once you click find new session, now come down to where it says crew session. Next, what you need to do is make sure the crew session is set to the number two. Once it's set to number two, now click A on where it says crew session and you will now be loading into a new GTA 5 online session. This should only take anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds, not long at all. As you can see, I'm not even skipping it forward. But yeah, once that 10 to 15 seconds passes by, you now should be put inside of the session and you will notice once you click down D-pad inside the session, you are actually inside of a solo public lobby, not a crew session. So now you know when I said in the beginning of the video that this is the easiest way I've ever seen to put yourself in a solo public lobby, I was not capping. This literally takes like 10 seconds to do. And you can do this on PlayStation 5, PS4, Xbox One, or Xbox Series X slash S, which is the best part about this glitch. So yeah, that is how you put yourself in a solo public lobby in GTA 5 Online in 2023. It literally takes only 10 to 15 seconds, and once you're in a solo public lobby, you can literally use it to do whatever you want to in the game. Anyway, if you did want to enjoy today's video, or if it taught you anything new, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on it if you haven't already. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But that's it for me, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.